Hello and welcome to 6.2 Metal Reactivity Lecture Video. So in this lecture video, I will actually be covering everything here, mainly understanding though. Uh, so on the left hand side, you can see metal uh, differ in the, te uh, the tendency to lose electrons. More reactive metals lose electrons more easily. So that's the first thing. Secondly, more reactive metal is able to donate electrons to the ion of a less reactive metal in a displacement reaction. Thirdly, differences in, uh, uh, in metal reactivity can be represented as a metal activity series. Lastly, the reactivity of a metal affects its ability to react with other chemicals. And what you need to be able to do can be found on the right hand side. Um, right equations and half equations for reactions between the metal and uh, uh, the ion of a less active metal. Uh, determining whether a reaction will occur between a metal and a solution containing the ions of another metal, given a metal activity series containing both metals. Last three in the last box. Um, investigate the reactions of various metals with uh, water and acidic solutions, which you will do. Compare the vigor of reactions of different metals with their position on the metal activity series, which you will do too. Finally, write equations and half equations for reactions between a given acid and a nominated active metal. Alrighty. So, um, metals, the first thing first, what do you know about them? Hopefully you know that um, some metals are um, reactive and some are not. Metals define their tendency to lose electrons and then that's what really um, reactivity is. More reactivity metals, uh, they lose electrons more easily and more reactive metals um, deposit as compound when you find them in the ground, underground. Because, well, metals, you need to dig them up, don't you? If it's a uh, reactive metal such as magnesium, um, you can see a picture of magnesium ore there. Um, it deposits as a compound, usually magnesium um, sulfide or magnesium sulf oxide, maybe. Um, but the, yeah, they would appear as um, something like this or rock. And you wouldn't see any metal piece within it, whereas gold. Um, you know that gold is a very unreactive, non-reactive metal. So you would see gold parts, gold um, deposit as it is within ore. Of course, you have to get rid of black um, parts, which is you know, rock and other gunks. Now, if you put the uh, metals in order of their reactivity, you would be able to make something like this. So potassium, sodium, calcium, that's in the order. Magnesium, aluminium, zinc, you keep going down uh, in terms of reactivity. Um, iron, lead, copper, silver, gold, and finally platinum. Um, so that, that's in the order of re their reactivity. Now you will um, get something like this in the test or exam because you need to be able to use them. Um, but you don't need to memorize them because, again, they'll be given to you. You will do this investigation um, so you can yeah, confirm uh, what you see in terms of reactivity of metals um, would be you know, something that you would see in the activity series. So you will um, put these metals that you see there, calcium, magnesium and so on, up to copper into water first, then with dilute acids. What do you expect? Well. Hopefully we can come to um, hypothesis, some sort of guess uh, before we do it. Now, once you've done it, I would like you to write a balanced chemical equation as well as doing that with um, redox equations. Okay, now moving on to um, how we can um, categorize some of the reactions as displacement. Now. A more reactivity met a more reactive metals uh, they are able to donate electrons to ions of uh, a less reactive metal 
and it will be um, something observed as displacement reaction. Now, displacement means uh, one thing that used to take place will be replacing something else. So displacement means displacement means yeah, it's replacing um, some other thing. Uh, one common thing, uh, one common reaction is that, um, uh, well, dipping copper wire into silver nitrate. Copper is a bit more reactive compared to silver. So if you put copper piece into silver iron, a uh, solution that contains um, silver iron, they will displace. So what you can see in this picture is that um, um, where you start off silver nitrate, which is no color, clear color solution, and the copper looks like copper wire. But once that's dipped in there, uh, copper will start dissolving into the solution, making the solution blue. And you would also see silver depositing, silver metal that is, depositing on copper. So a displacement has occurred, and that's the uh, evidence of it. Moving on. Oops. Now you will also do the metal displacement um, investigation. So you will mm, not mix. You will add these metals, magnesium up to copper, into these solutions and see which one would cause reaction. And if a reaction happened, i.e. a metal displacement occurs, then you should be able to write half equations and overall equation. You can start doing it though, even uh, by guessing. Um, then you will order what um, reactivity they have, and hopefully that's in order of what you see in a metal activity series. So you can develop your own and confirm with this. Hopefully your finding is the same as that. Now, metal activity series is also uh, also provides an information about what's considered to be reactive metals and what's not to be reactive. A line that you need to draw is under aluminium. Aluminium and above in the reactivity series is considered to be reactive metals and zinc and below they are considered to be non-reactive metals. What's important uh, for you to uh, understand from this is that, uh, well, actually this is used, this understanding is used to help the society. Um, in the first image here, I'll show you, zoom in, you see an iron nail with magnesium strip around. Now what you're seeing is magnesium is, is being dissolved into water and phenolphthalein being Present, it's making the solution more pink. And notice the uh, steel uh, nail hasn't corroded, but on the right hand side, what you have is iron nail, and I think this is silver. I think. Um, now, silver is less reactive compared to iron, so iron would be um, dissolved into water first, meaning. Magnesium, if magnesium was present, um, that would be able to protect the uh, iron nail. If you had iron and silver around it, you wouldn't be able to because that's going to corrode first. That's less react uh, more reactive compared to what's around here. Um, this, in this case, magnesium here is called sacrificial metal piece and that's used for um, protecting ships because ships are usually made of steel. So you see these little things here? They are magnesium pieces. Also used for oil rig sort of places. Steel legs, uh, steel legs are something that you want to protect. Therefore, you would put magnesium block attached to the rig. So metal displacement would only occur to magnesium, not the steel legs. And yeah, these are the things that um, yeah, how it was up, um, up, up applied, sorry. Um, and also you need to be able to work with this kind of um, context in test or exam condition. So hopefully those two investigations that you will do uh, will help you understand all this. All right.